guys and welcome to a vlog. I'm a bit snotty, but not too serious. I'm sure anyone who lives in the UK will have known the very nasty cold has been going around. And I've managed to mostly avoid it. I'm a bit, a bit bunged up, but nothing so bad compared to what some people have had. Um, just done the shopping marks and spaces. Monday, did I say that guys? I've just been working and everything. Got myself some stuff for dinner, some avocados, some quick roast carrots and carpets, cherry tomatoes. I could snack on cherry tomatoes until I turned into cherry tomato myself. Ten stone broccoli, bread, essential. This is the ultimate essential, which I could have cried this morning when I woke up and realised I didn't have any left tea bags. And these are the best tea bags you can get MS Gold. If you don't drink MS Gold tea, go and give it a go and tell me it won't change your life. I was gutted this morning when I woke up and realised I'd run out. So let's restock and I'm going to have a cup of tea right now. Um, I've been travelling a lot. I've been in Copenhagen, I've been in Amsterdam. I'm now here for a few days and then I go to uh, Marrakesh at the end of this week for a job, which is really exciting. It's the kind of thing I haven't done before. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then after that, I'm in the UK for a while, which is a really nice feeling because I think this is partly why I've gotten a bit snotty from being on planes and stuff as well. Um, so yes, I'm glad. I just want to have some time at home because it always it's so nice to be back here, but it's always such a quick in and out trip and um, hence but yeah not much not much else is new really i also got some almond butter if you're interested if you're interested which probably not got some flowers too i got um some things a bit and parcel which is from realization par they sent me some bits let's open it now shall we no time like the present to do these things I'll get in it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? This is something extra. A fan! And some playing cards. Fan and some playing cards, thank you. It's a nice little extra. Also, a tote bag. Which has all the bits in it. Now they sent me this, so I don't know how much the customs and things are because I know that's a question people ask a lot, and I always get small in their stuff. Oh, sorry guys, just had to delete some stuff. I need to charge this camera. So I got a mini skirt. They do this in black as well, but it's kind of similar to my Reformation one. They just got this little printed one. Um, which has got a stretchy waist. Looks a bit see-through, but we'll see. I thought this would be kind of nice with just a white t-shirt. I'm thinking very summery, obviously. And then this dress. I feel like because they package it so small, the customs wouldn't be that bad if you are ordering from there. Anyway, this tiny red, flowery, again, very summery. I'll definitely take this to Marrakesh at the end of the week. Red dress with like daisies on. This is so what they're known for, like these really cute dresses, and I do really like them for that. Um, ooh, what's this? Dream Girl Tea Wanger. Oh, wow, you get a poster. If you should want to put her on your wall. Don't know why you would, you never know. And. Another one of her. I mean, I don't want it on my wall, but their imagery is bloody cool. Like, they do things well, if not a little. I mean, there's no diversity in it, but in terms, like, they shoot so much on film, so you guys know I'm going to be a fan. And then I got this midi black spotty one, which I really like. I was tempted by another red flowery one, but I thought maybe you can have too much red flowery things. That's that for today. Thank you so much, Realization Car. I make some really, really, really yearn for summer. And I also bought myself a Uniqlo, which I'm going to pop on now because I've got some people coming around for a meeting. Just this Breton strap top. I realised I don't own a Breton top. So I thought, better change that. 
So I have bought that, which I'm going to put on now. Do you know what? This, these things with the pictures are going to be good for my scrapbook. I'm going to use those to scrapbook. And I'm going to make some cup tea. Make the room a bit tidier for people coming around for a meeting. And put waters, flower in the waters. That's the plan. And blow my nose. Ooh. Guys, it's bed changing day, aka the worst job ever. It's Tuesday at like five o'clock. I've been absolutely flat out today. Been working at home, getting loads of stuff done. Like I told you, I go away on Thursday and Friday for a job, but I can't like film anything until all of the content that we're shooting is like finished and stuff. So I can't share things online. So I'm just trying to get on top of everything before I go including changing the bed, and I hate this job. I even hate doing pillowcases. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry I missed both uploads last week on YouTube. I've just been all over the place. There's no other reason or excuse. And um, this weekend, I'm in it on Saturday, gonna film the coats part of the wardrobe clear out. So that should be up soon. I'm really excited to get through the coats actually. And then from then I'm gonna start actually getting some stuff on Depop and Vestiaire and things. Oh, I've just been waiting until I had a decent amount of stuff to share. Um, so, yes, my bedding, if you're interested, is from the Conran shop. I've probably told you before, and it is always my favourite thing ever. And um, I think I'm also going to order online some um, men's Gucci loafers. I wrote a blog post the other day about shopping and about how I was having the urge to shop and wrote a whole thing about my opinions on shopping and stuff. Um, I'll link it down below because it's quite an interesting conversation in tying in the sustainability thing. Um, and I was quite pleased with the way I managed to articulate how I feel about it. So I'll leave a link for that below and lots of you have been leaving comments which has been really helpful and stuff. So that's all good. Um, and yeah, I basically want to buy some shoes and I think I might buy some men's Gucci loafers because they, as you would suspect, have a ma more manly shape to them, which I really like. Um, and they feel really different to the girls' ones, which I've got a few pairs of. So I think I'm going to order them in black. I've been looking at them all day online. Where is the last pillowcase? There you are. Honestly, this job. God. Bed very messily made. Let's not dwell. <coughs> I've just had a taco takeaway. And may have ordered the shoes that I was talking about on Matches 90 Minutes Delivery. Let me just pause Ariana Grande. Gotten very into her latest album. A bit late to the party, but better late than never. Um, yes, I ordered the shoes. They're here. 90 Minutes Delivery and it came in about 60. I mean, it's dangerous, but dangerously wonderful, I would say. Um, where should I pop you? While we do this on the radiator. What do oh just squish that down? Hey, not a bad tripod. So let's see what these are like. I ordered the men's <coughs> Gucci loafers. I'm not sure what the smallest size they come in, but I'm a seven. But we shall soon see if men's sizing is the same as female. I cannot see why it would not be. That doesn't mean I'll be right. Oh. Ooh. I really haven't got the outfit on to be trying these on with, so I'm going to have to try them on with my outfit tomorrow morning to show you properly because I am wearing a jumper from the White Company if you're interested. It says Sunday on it, even though it's a Tuesday, because you just can't tame me, basically. I'm a rebel without cause. Sweatpants from Metro Cecile, socks from Coffs. It's a look. <clears throat> oh, okay. I noticed they come in a larger box than the Lady Gucci's shoes because men need larger things, don't they, for their fragile masculinity. So make it bigger and more manly and thicker for man hands. God, I'm snotty. Let's see. Ooh. So the reason I'm, I'm going to go grab another one of my pairs. These are the men's ones. They look on first impressions like they're going to be way too wide for me. Uh, we'll see but you can see they're like such a manlier shape and I really like this 
sort of stepped up bit around the edge of the shoe, whereas the ladies' ones are much more um, long, long, thin, um, and like smoother over the top. But these look way more just clumpy. I kind of have been loving wearing my church's brogues so much that I wanted something that felt as manly as that, but that was a bit easier to wear. Oh, they kind of feel big. I think I need to go to a six and a half, maybe. As I just walk around here. And they also do them in backless. Having tried these on, I think, because I was really tempted by the backless ones for them, they do them in like a chocolate brown, which I thought would be so nice. And I was super tempted by all the backless ones, but having tried them on, <clears throat> I think that the backless ones would be way too wide on my feet. The, the ladies Gucci backless ones work for me, but like I just said, they're a lot slimmer. I think the men's ones would be way too wide, or at the very least, I'd have to go try them on in the store. Now, are these too big? Because they're staying on my feet. But they do kind of move around. I tell you what, if you walk into the corner of this coffee table and hit it with your shin, you know about it for a while. Oh, I really like how they look though. I'm not going to show you them on, well I mean I'll show you them like this, which you can see so well there. I'm going to show you them tomorrow when I'm wearing a normal person outfit, um, before I go out. And the other one is on, and we're off, we're off again. Oh, they look cool. Ow! I have honestly never found myself more attractive than I found myself right now, walking around in the Gucci loafers, because they're quite noisy. I wouldn't be able to wear these when I am working as my part-time job as a spy. I'm actually a private investigator on Tuesdays. I'm just joking. <laughs> Let's wander through here. Mm, oh, washing on the floor. There is a bit of room in them. But I just... I think it's the width rather than the length. I said I wasn't going to show you them in this outfit, but here we are, looking very chic. I think, yeah, it's the width, not, is it the width? Where's my toe? I can't feel it because of the ridge. But I think it's a width thing, not a length thing, and so a size down wouldn't benefit me. Oh, they are cool. I really like the clumpiness of them. For reference, now you're all going to be really upset at how much of a mess it is in here. Don't look in here. These are what the ladies' ones look like quite different I mean they're a bit squished because someone doesn't look after the shoes and I'm going to hell for it and I know I should and I'm trying to be better but you can see the difference in the shape the and they're like the same definitely the same length these are just so much slimmer fitting and more ladylike let's be honest they are these are just cool I want to wear them with white socks and it'll be so ugly and no man will ever speak to me, but it will be wonderful. Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try them on tomorrow for you guys as a normal person outfit. And in the meantime, tidy up that box. And also, maybe wash my face. I've never known myself to look like this. What's been going on today? Hello. I'm in such a funny mood today, as in funny ha-ha. I have been hilariously on form all day and haven't seen a soul all day. So nobody has been around to appreciate it. And the reason even though I know I've been funny is because so many like one liners have been popping into my head all day long, if I do say so myself. And now you guys are gonna get to enjoy it because no one in real life has, which is just as well been funny seeing as I look like I've been dug up. Helps really. Um, just, uh -huh. I'm just, um, and I wash my face and admire myself in the mirror. And I'm going to put a face mask on to try and help whatever's happening here. I actually don't even recognise my own skin. Who is this? Who is she? Not even scratching. What is happening? What's on God's green earth? Um. Yeah, I've been on my own all day today, which is why I get like this in the evenings. Because it makes you go a bit mental. Um, I walk such a lot on at the moment, which I won't complain about. Well, I am complaining about it. And I really want to play Spyro. But 
just not enough hours in the day. And that little purple dragon demands so much time. I like Spyro. I've got to make a living, god damn you. My eyelashes. I got my eyelashes done yesterday. Got another lash lift. I honestly feel like I have to stop vlogging because I can't believe what I look like. What's going on with my skin? Anyway, I've come into less good light so that it's not as harrowing. But I got a lash lift yesterday. You can't see. It won't focus. But I'll show you tomorrow along with everything else. I was praise God I don't wake up looking like this tomorrow. I think I'm going to look like I'm on day release. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday and as promised I am trying on the shoes of normal people clothes. I know this lighting in this mirror is really bad, I'm getting, I'm going to get a mirror for my living room as soon as I can, I'm just sort of trying to decide what I want. Um, I've just got on, this is literally the outfit I have worn every single day for months um, in a variation of this. I've got on my cashmere, Uniqlo, oh not Uniqlo, Marks and Spencers, the one that won Testing Basics, my new Seattle weekday jeans. I love these jeans, I really, really, really recommend them. I really want to get them in a lighter wash as well. And then the loafers. I love how they look. They kind of just got the right amount of clunkiness. They feel styling-wise in between my church's brogues and my Gucci loafers. Something more manly, but also just more summer appropriate. I'm just not sure on the sizing. Like, you can see that my heel lifts out, but I think it's a width problem. You can see there's quite a lot of extra space rather than a length problem because I'm pretty sure my toes kind of at the end and I don't know whether they'll be fine when I get walking and your feet heat up a bit or if it's just going to be too big I really can't decide I might check online actually and see if they do half sizes because that could solve all my problems in fact I'm going to check that now um, and after that I'm on my way out just for a meeting then rushing back to shoot some content with Tom and then rushing back out to the gym and then rushing back to finish off work before going tomorrow. So I'm gonna try and vlog through the day but there's a good chance you won't hear from me until post 2 p.m. once I've done all those things in between. Hello guys, quickly checking in because I'm back just waiting for Tom to get here to start shooting and all systems go is basically where it's at, yeah. Hello again, in the same spot as I last checked in but looking a tad different. Just got back from the gym. Um, I'm honestly exhausted. Like, I think it's all the travel that I've been doing, and then this week has been quite mental. But like, I just walked back then, and my legs have felt like the wobbliest ever. Um, I don't mean this as a wind or anything. I just feel knackered. Um, and like I said, tomorrow I've got this trip, and then this is my last little trip. For, and I haven't even been doing long haul stuff. It's just been short ones. But it's my last one for a few weeks, and it's that I'm just like, I, don't, I never want it to sound ungrateful about travel, but like everywhere and here's a tip, there's film everywhere, I've been shooting stuff, so there's just stuff everywhere, and I can't wait to just feel like, like a bit of a homebody again for a bit. Um, and I'm also kind of in a quite a good place in my work, and, and just craving more time to be sat at my desk working, and it's often how it goes, I don't know if any of you guys will feel like this, but almost when you're constrained by time and a schedule it does make you sometimes a bit more inspired because all these ideas fire off and it, and it sort of lights a fire whereas then sometimes when i've got an expanse of time in front of me to sit and work i find it a bit harder so this might switch over the next few weeks of how i'm feeling about things but i started a new instagram account the other day called shot not from the street um all sorry someone keeps ringing me about upgrading the meter to a smart meter and I know, I know it's on my list. Write that down. I need to find out where the meters are so that they can organize it. Um, okay, please stop calling. So yeah, oh, and another thing that I just need to remember to need to ring about. That is also on the list. Anyway, I start the new Instagram account called Shots Not From The Street. Um, basically, you guys know how much time I spend working on my film photos, like scanning them, taking them, scanning them, editing them, everything. And I share them all on my blog all of the time and lots of you read my blog and I absolutely adore my blog as I tell you and I adore sharing the aspect, that aspect of what I do on YouTube as well. Um, but I did feel like so much, you know, like I share the images that I do on Instagram stories and you know, they're there for 24 hours and they go. And I also personally am not a fan of Instagram stories, do they do just find like it sucks time away from me. Um, so I thought I'd start a new Instagram account and it's called Shots Not From The Street, like I said, and it's all to share my 
photos that aren't of me so photos of that I have taken of other people and of things um, and I'm absolutely loving it I'm trying to post quite a few times a day because obviously I've got quite a lot of content I want to get through and I'll continue to shoot things all of the time um, and I'm just absolutely loving it so I'm going to leave a link for it in the description box and if you're interested in the film photography I do it's a mix of ones of film and on my phone um, but it's mostly going to be film but maybe some like candid shots of things I'm doing from a different um, just basically, I love my Instagram account and love sharing my outfits. And I like the fact that you guys can all follow there and know that's what you get from that Instagram account, what I'm wearing every day and things like that. Um, and I do sometimes do the scrolly carousel things. I'm not going to stop doing anything like that. But I just wanted another way to share something that I put so much time and so much energy and so much love into, basically. Um, so yeah, I'm going to link shots not from the street in the description box so you guys can go follow and I would be very happy if you did because, yeah, um, I'm really enjoying doing it. So that's made me feel inspired as well. Um, it's currently 3.08. I have a phone call at 3.10. So I'm going to go and take that call and then continue making my way through this to-do list. High up on the to-do list is to finish off this vlog and get it uploaded because this vlog is going to be up today as you are watching me right now I should, that might be actually the first thing I do after I get off the phone so yes I'm just making myself a cup of tea and trying not to be so stressed that I explode <laughs> there's this meme that went round on Twitter it was a cartoon I actually don't know what cartoon it was and this is a woman at a desk with her head in her hand and it said, what do you all want from me? I am not God. And the title of it was me when anyone emails me. That has been me today. Every email I get, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. But expect me to do my job. I am but one person. <laughs> Tea will help. Tea will help. It's very cold in here. I've just put the heating on. And I really, actually, the next thing on the list is that I need to go and edit this vlog, which I hope's been all right. I had so much I wanted to do this week and everything's can't in the way you know how it goes I also think I might be losing my mind but I'm trying not to worry about that um I'm gonna do the coat clear out on Saturday so that'll be Sunday's video and I'm gonna vlog through the weekend once I get back from this trip tomorrow oh that I'm going on tomorrow um so then there'll be a vlog on Wednesday and I'm just gonna get into the zone of things um, I'm gonna do some more fashion content but I don't know what because I don't have any new clothes at the moment apart from those new shoes those Gucci loafers which I'm going to try on every single day with my outfits to decide whether or not they're a winner and also get an insole for them and see if that makes them the perfect fit because the length is, fi is fine it's the width as I've said so I'm going to do that on this weekend as well and yeah I'm just not I'm really inspired creatively but not clothes wise I'm just enjoying wearing what I'm wearing and there's actually nothing wrong with that I used to put pressure on myself and think oh but I need to create some fashion content but I only want to promote and like I mentioned about the shopping post which I want to link as well but I only want to promote shopping and new things if I'm in a space where like it's inspiring me because this channel is all me sharing where like, I'm at with my life and what is inspiring me and at the moment I'm just really happy wearing what I'm wearing so um, there will be some fashion content soon maybe when it gets a bit warmer and we kind of I feel like you will be feeling the same of being a bit bored of your wardrobe and things but what I will do is a big testing basic roundup that is something I need to do That'd be a really good time to do this actually, to look back over all the ones in the past year especially. So anyway, that's the plan. I have rambled through this vlog and it's quite representative of how my head is at the moment, which is like duh, 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 firing like mad. Um, I also can't stop eating, but that is my last complaint. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Um, I feel like I've been in a really funny mood throughout it, which I hope you don't mind, or at least can relate to that sometimes you just seem to go crazy and nothing can stop it. Anyway, um, I will see you in the next video. I'm going to go finish this brew, edit this vlog, get this up so you're watching it. By the time you're watching it, I'll, I'll actually probably be looking exactly like this and still a disgusting gym gear because I haven't been bothered to get changed. I've got even lifting my leg up like that hurt. Oh.